Hi there. Welcome. Welcome to your afternoon. Hey, Frankie. Hey, man. Long time no speak to. Uh, welcome to your afternoon shot of food porn from Taipei. We're going to just uh, walk around Taipei main station here, Old Town, and, uh, and make you salivate a little bit. There's some really uh, nice little snack places around here. So I'm going to try to uh, do some. This is actually just plastic food. This is what you'll see in a lot of restaurants here. Uh, it just makes it easier to order, especially if you, if you can't uh, read uh, Mandarin or Chinese. Um, ooh. So welcome to Taipei. Hi, it's John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel. And uh, can you hear me OK? Let me know if you can hear me OK. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Uh, this is uh, Old Town. This is right around Main Station. Uh, and so typically around uh, train stations. Main Station is the train station and uh, MRT station. Um, uh, you'll, you, there, there's going to be lots of uh, places to eat. And these are a lot of the dumplings that they serve. These are kind of mini Shui uh, Jean Bao. And uh, I'll, I'll show you one of my favorites coming up here. Hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is the Shui Jean Bao. And this is a, a, like a bigger dumpling and it's fried on one side so it's kind of crispy on one side and then it's soft uh, on the top and then they'll fill it with different things. I usually get the one with um, uh, leeks because I don't eat meat but you can get ones with pork and, and different stuff like that and they're really a tasty snack and they're super cheap they're like a buck for two and uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you uh, this afternoon uh, was uh, a lot of the Lunar New Year decorations that are uh, coming up here in uh, in Taipei in Taiwan uh, Lunar New Year is just around the corner February 8th and give me a shout out where you are we we're so we're feeling we're feeling so relieved here today because it's it's warmed right up in uh, Taipei particularly. Um, so I think we're at about maybe 17 or 18 degrees right, right now. It's five o'clock in the afternoon, and we just came through a really really freezing cold snap here uh, over the weekend, and uh, it's pretty serious actually. Hey Hawaii, how are you? Aloha. Um, it, it was a pretty serious uh, freeze here. Uh, they attributed 85 deaths to this uh, cold front that came through Taiwan and left some snow in some places that hadn't seen snow in 40 years. There's people here that had never seen snow before in Taiwan and they were in their 40s. So it, it's warmed up here, so it's better now. Uh, a, a lot of people kind of scratch their head and go, well, it wasn't that cold there. Well, it's pretty cold here, plus there is, you know, for many of the buildings here, there's no central heating. So um, you can't escape the cold. You are outside in the cold, and when you go home, it's cold. So it, this is a subtropical uh, part of the island. The, the south is tropical. So, um, it, it, you know, the people here just aren't prepared for these types of uh, temperatures. Anyways, let's go back to the food. Um, you know, you see these bakeries all over the place here in uh, in Taiwan, and uh, people just love their uh, baked goods. And um, there's lots of uh, uh, traditional ingredients used in some of these, uh, like um, uh, red beans and uh, nuts. Peanuts are very big here because they grow peanuts in uh, in Taiwan, so peanuts are used in a lot of desserts, and uh, and and lots of different uh, sort of French style ones uh, with uh, traditional uh, Chinese ingredients or uh, Taiwan ingredients. So th those are those places are all over here and, and more of these uh, Shui Jian Bao uh, places. And uh, I think this this lady here cooks up noodles. There's always a lineup here for these noodles. And they always look good. Wow, there's just It's a, it's a pretty busy time of day here, and uh, this is, they have, a, I know last time I was here, I was, I was scoping from this place, like, I like this place, it's a good uh, vegetarian buffet place, and I'm, I'm, as I'm doing this, it's, I'm scoping, I looked at it, I looked at the scope later, and it's like, there's no cameras, they don't like 
people to take pictures because um, uh, they're, uh, they're very protective here of some of the way they uh, uh, plate things. And, and even in a lot of the uh, stores that you go into here, they ask no photography uh, because they're very uh, protective of uh, the way they design layouts of stores and pretty much everything like that. And it is a very competitive place. But I have to tell you, though, it just feels really nice that it's warmed up here again. It was so cold here uh, in the last few days. It's uh, amazing that it feels so warm. Thank you so much for the hearts. And uh, give me a shout out where you are in the world. Would love to say hello to you uh, from here in Taipei. Kind of got a small audience today. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, you can share this uh, broadcast too. That would be really cool. Just swipe the screen left to right on iOS or, or swipe it up for Android or just tap the little figure in the corner there and uh, share that way. And I'm, I'm actually heading towards uh, the Peace Park here and uh, I might have run out of uh, <laughs> food porn, but I wanted to show you a little bit of food porn. Hey, thanks for inviting your followers. Thank you so much. I know what time of the day it is. Where are you in the world? Uh, are you on the east coast of the United States? I guess it's still kind of early there. It's about four or five in the morning. Um, but but I know you guys got hammered uh, really uh, hard with the uh, the snow and the uh, the blizzard that hit uh, hit there. I spoke to somebody in uh, Connecticut yesterday, or uh, well last night my time, and uh, and they were telling me about. I don't know how many feet of snow got into Connecticut, New York, the New England area. Uh, got really hammered with a, a blizzard. And uh, there's, there's lots of people here in East Asia that have been stranded. There's an island off of uh, South Korea, a part of South Korea called uh, Jeju Island. And there was like 85,000 people <laughs> are stranded there right now. They haven't been able to get off the island because the flights can't move in and, in and out of there because of, of the weather situation. So, uh, 1107 in Hawaii. Yeah, I know, Hawaii's always, uh, you guys are in that sort of funny time zone because you're later than uh, uh, the, no, you're earlier than the Pacific, right? Uh, than the West Coast, right? Or are you later? I can't remember now. But you'd be later, right? What island are you on? Are you on Oahu? lovely I haven't been there in such a long time Hawaii's uh, very beautiful um, I'm just w waiting for the cross crosswalk here to turn uh, the signal to turn green so I can just walk quickly through the park and uh, and this is a place people like to come uh, walk around you know I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around this way and go back around five hours later in Honolulu right 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 I'm just gonna uh, take a quick tour around here and, and uh, maybe I can find some more uh, uh, food. Uh, but uh, Lunar New Year, uh, uh, obviously you're gonna see lots of uh, decorations everywhere uh, all around uh, Taiwan and most of the um, department stores now are playing uh, classical uh, Chinese music, uh, getting ready for um, the uh, Lunar New Year and uh, so it's the biggest holiday of the year in mainland China it's the biggest human migration in the world I think it's a one and a half billion um, uh, so people movers uh, so they go you know I guess you would count as two if you're going one place and going back to another place but it is the biggest people migration in the world here there's 23 million people uh, on uh, Taiwan and, and many people will be traveling uh, over the holidays uh, to go if they're living in Taipei they might go back to their parents or grandparents home uh, somewhere else on the island so it's really hard to book a train and uh, and and you so you got to book your train tickets in advance because it's it's almost impossible if you wait a few days before uh, but this is uh, th this area here is uh, is a very old part of Taiwan and they have lots of snacks uh, here because lots of uh, that's a big part of the food culture here is the the things you can eat with your hand or, or little bites they call it um, and you'll see that everywhere and of course lots of uh, lots of uh, like 
Japanese style place like this is tempura. Uh, lots of Japanese food you can get here on, on the island as well. Because uh, Taiwan was a colony of Japan for 50 years. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to I'm going to try to come back to you again uh, from another part of Taipei. I'm just going to sign off for now. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Please follow me uh, on Periscope and uh, go to my website, FarEastAdventureTravel.com for lots of uh, uh, travel videos and tips on traveling throughout uh, East Asia and Southeast Asia and South Asia. Thank you so much. Bye bye from Taipei.